Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel! If you're new here, my name is Medita, and today I'm finally doing my first 24-hour reading marathon. And I'm super excited, but also really scared because I really don't want to fall asleep. So I need to be drinking a lot of caffeine. I've seen so many videos all over YouTube of people doing this. And I want to do it too! Like, I'm getting FOMO! I need to do this too! I'm obviously gonna see how far I can go. I really want to make the 24 hours, which means we probably have to go to the gas station to get a monster in the middle of the night. I'll take you guys with me. Hashtag gas station vlog. I'm gonna show you which books I'm planning to read. I want to read four at least. So yeah. Book one is gonna be The Inheritance Games because I haven't started this trilogy. I'm probably gonna give updates during these books on which team I am, like Team Jameson or Team Grayson. Then I'm obviously going to be reading the Hawthorne Legacy right after. I know I have the British covers and they're really freaking ugly, but I don't care. And then obviously we're gonna be reading The Final Gambit, book three. Before you guys go, whoa, how the heck do you have a paperback, Medita? I do not know myself. I ordered this on Amazon and this arrived. I was fully expecting the green ugly cover from this version to arrive. And when I finish those three and I still have energy and I still think I can complete those 24 hours, I'm going to be reading Last Night by Mahalia McFarlane or If We Were Willens. It just turned 520, so I'm gonna set an alarm for tomorrow 520 so I can read for 24 hours and I'm very excited. I'm about to start page one. When I was a kid, my mom constantly invented games. Okay, we're gonna start now. I'll give you an update in whatever time I think is necessary. See ya! I think we just got introduced to Grayson Hawthorne. Okay, there's like this gray eyed guy, blonde hair, and is wearing a suit. Let's see, let's see. Wait, I'm already on page 13. My name is Grayson. Grayson Hawthorne is so hot. Let me read this to you for a second here. Power was as much of a fact of life for this guy as gravity. The world bent to the will of Grayson Hawthorne. What money couldn't buy, those eyes probably did. <laughs> oh my god! This is so good! I'm team Grayson already. <laughs> yeah, we just got introduced to Jameson, and I'm team Jameson. He's calling her mystery girl? That's so cool! I just want to know who Avery is. What the fuck? I'm so confused. Why is Avery getting all this stuff? What's happening? I just finished the first 100 pages. I'm on chapter 25. And oh my God, I'm in love. This book is so good. We just got a giant secret reveal. I can't talk about it, obviously. What does this have to do with everything? Like this is definitely foreshadowing and I'm so scared. I literally can handle this. I'm on page 203 right now. I'm on chapter 49. I have so many theories. Oh my God. Okay, so if I could pick one of the Hawthorne brothers, I would pick Nash. I don't care about Jameson and Grayson. I need Nash. That one phrase about him and finger breaking. Uh, let me, leave me alone. That was so hot. We just found out another secret about the past and I am indeed confused. We get introduced to all of these new characters that kind of relate to the entire secret thing behind this. I keep having more and more theories. Now, for Avery, I'm currently on Team Jameson. Grayson, okay, whatever. You're a bit too rude for me. You know, just a little bit too rude for me. Jameson, however, so far, interesting. He seems like a broken soul and we would love to fix that broken soul, don't we? Romance develops. Oh my god, I know exactly what team I'm on! I'm loving this book so far. I still want Nash, but like Team Jameson. We're just getting more and more answers after answers after answers! I just got another big answer! I feel so bad though at the same time and I can't say the answer because it's gonna be spoilers. The drama is here. It's getting dramatic and more dramatic. Okay, first of all, what are all of you doing to Avery? This is what's happening to Avery right now. This is Avery and this is everybody else. Leave her alone. She didn't even do anything. She doesn't even know why she's here and I don't even know why she's here. So many things are happening to her and I do not agree with any of them. I want to be a personal shield for Avery. On the other hand, now there's numbers and letters and more riddles and even more riddles and weird codes we have to decipher. If I were in Avery's position, I don't even know what I would do. And right now, the betrayal trope is really, really, really close to happening and I'm totally terrified. The two people that I'm thinking of right now, they better not be behind this because I will literally burn this book. I feel like a lot of secrets are gonna be revealed right now because a lot of things are going together and I'm not ready for this at all. What? I have a theory and I hope it's not correct because that would be weird. <gasps> ah! Jameson! <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Biggest secret revealed right now. Well, not the big, big one, but a really big one. Wait, this can't be true. Oh my god. Shut up. What? After? No, I need to know what happened. I think I know who she was with. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Yes! Oh my god! Woo! I could solve 
solve this puzzle any day of the week. We got another riddle and I don't know how to solve it. <gasps> oh my god, I fuck! I am so smart because I saw this coming. I am better than everybody. <laughs> what? Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many correlations. Oh my god. Everything's making sense. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, is that it? Is that the fucking reason she got everything? That's, there's no way. Right? Yeah. I'm thinking like Avery right now. Like this can't be it. A giant secret is being revealed now. I need everybody to shut up. There's no way. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm still only team Avery, but like I want to hug. Grayson really badly. I mean, I want to hug Jameson too. I want to heal both of them. Like, I can heal them. I can change them. But like, Grayson, I want to hug you especially right now. Oh my god. 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 Something just happened. Something just happened. There's a new riddle. Wait, wait. Okay. I'm trying to decipher this riddle right now. I deciphered the first part of the riddle. This is so intense right now. I literally am so excited. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. All of these people need therapy. <laughs> I am so team Grayson. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. I'm, this is so hot. Grayson, what are you doing? How are we getting? There's more and more. What the heck is happening? Oh my god, I forgot about that. <gasps> okay, big secret reveal now. I'm excited, I'm excited. I fucking knew it. Oh my god, that's so cool. I need to start book two right now. What time is it? I need to really quickly do a review for this before I start the second book. But okay, absolutely amazing. This is a five out of five. I am so in love with this book right now. The sequels were great. And I'm so happy that I guessed them correctly. Uh, my favorite characters are still Avery and probably not Xander and not Nash because Nash hasn't been that visible. But I like for me, I want Nash. Oh my God, I'm so happy that I finally read this. <laughs> Second book, right? The Hawthorne Legacy. And it's uh, one step forward, two steps back. What happens when the truth just hides more secrets? Let's crack the spine. I'm not trying to be a bitch or anything, but I'm on page 81. Mind you, it's really good so far. I'm Team Jameson again. I'm loving it so far. I love the secrets. I love the discoveries we're having already. I'm very excited to see this adventure. We have a lot more of Xander in here, which is very exciting. But what I wanted to say is the Latin is wrong. The first of this is correct. Est unus ex nobis, but nos defendat eos is like wrong. They were just trying to say we protect her, but like we protect her, we defendimos eam. Defendat is like singular, like he. Anyways, I'm gonna finish to page 100 and then we're gonna go to the gas station and get a monster because I'm very tired already. I'm so fucking tired. Oh my god. And I haven't even finished book two. Um, so I really like the second book so far. I really like Jameson and Avery's dynamic so far in this book. It's definitely really nice. I really like it. We just got a lot more riddles solved. We already have our first big secret revealed, which is pretty good. I'm gonna take you all now to the gas station with me because I don't want to go alone. Where's the one switch? I'm so excited for the third book. This book is so good so far. I really like this trilogy. I thought I was gonna think it was good, but not love it. And a white. Yay. As I said, I'm on page 100 now, chapter 24. And I just wanna talk about the love triangle for a second. It's pretty clear that she will end up with Jameson. 80% of the dialogue that she had with a guy was with Jameson in book one. And I kind of thought it would be like, oh, maybe Adam and Warner. Because Grayson was always compared to Aaron. But Grayson and Aaron are so different. Like Aaron already in the first book was so much more persistent on being with Juliet than how Grayson is throughout this entire book. And in book one, he had a few cute scenes. But in book two, it's very clear that they're not ending up together. Because during this, like the football game, when there were like fireworks, Jameson dropped to the ground right away and took her face into his hands and like calmed her down. And Grayson just like kind of like sat there. You know, like that standing emoji? He was like that. I was like, okay, dude, leave me alone. I'm team Jameson all the way already. So yeah, we're going to continue now. I'll give you guys an update again in 100 pages. So we're drinking my green monster. This is my favorite one, actually. But I already feel more energized again just from walking outside in like the cool air. <laughs> 
This is so good. I fucking love this shit so much. I'm just really fucking tired too, but we're gonna we're gonna continue. They're currently exploring the wild and being little detectives, hashtag Nancy Drew team, and I'm liking it. It's very much Sherlock Holmes dream team. We have to all work together and I really like it. I like the little friendship group they have. Very much found family in my opinion because of how many family issues they have in the first place. Oh, it's already 18 past midnight. I know I'm not supposed to update that often, but holy cricket, we just got another giant secret reveal. What's happening? There's so many, so much is happening at the same time. And it's just getting more complicated and more complicated. I need to draw out this family tree because I'm so confused. What the heck? It's getting steamy and intense and lots of action is happening right now. And I'm totally terrified of how this book is going to end. I have a hundred pages left. I don't know what I'm doing. Holy shit. Oh my God, the gasp moment. Like. There's so much shit going on here. What's gonna happen in the third book? I'm only on page 274. This wasn't the perfect book to read. Maybe it isn't even that shocking, but to me, everything right now is so shocking and so intense. I just finished the Hawthorne Legacy. Okay, so I don't know how to rate this book yet. Okay, I like the first one more than this one. Maybe it's because I'm tired now, but I like the clues and riddles in the first one a bit more. There was just a lot. Plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist, plot twist. I love Jameson and Avery together. They're so cute. The only issue I really have with this book was Max, gonna be fully honest. I like, like her and I get she's there for the comedic relief, but her humor with the cursing thing is just not funny to me. It's really annoying. <laughs> We're gonna start book three now. It's 2.20 a.m. I'm pretty sure everybody knows this and I don't know why I was that stupid, but I don't think you should start a 24-hour readathon at 5 p.m. at night. You should definitely start in the morning because then you have the night, you know, before you have the energy from the sleep and then you read through the night and like in the morning, go back to bed. I don't know why I didn't do that. I used up all my energy throughout the day and then at night I was like, mm, let me start now. Are you stupid? That's so dumb. That is so dumb because I had no energy, not even one night of sleep to help me. I was actually dying and I kept like slapping my face and like, trying to pour cold water over my face to stay awake. It was not fun. I was in pain and I had to reread pages multiple times because I was that tired. It's it's really not funny anymore. So far, Avery is girl bossing and deciding to uncover every riddle in the Hawthorne house because she's a billionaire and has all the time in the world now to do whatever the fuck she wants. And I love it. Okay, I'm so fucking tired, but we're, we're pulling through. I just finished the first 100 pages of The Final Scam Bed. A lot less has happened than the other two books. I like it so far, and we also just got a new riddle revealed. It's currently 4 a.m., and I'm so tired. I just almost fell asleep while reading. But we can't do that, okay? So we're gonna brush our teeth because, like, mint keeps me awake. This is such a stupid idea, Marita. I don't understand why you ever thought this was smart. I'm so awake. I'm not tired. So fucking cute. Also, everything is happening right now. I'm pretty sure all the secrets are being revealed and we're about to have the big final battle. I'm about to fall asleep. This is not good. I just finished book three in my reading marathon and it's currently 6.37 a.m. And I'm probably going to give this book three stars. I'm definitely sad it's over. The only thing is that this book just made me frustrated and especially Grayson in this book, not gonna lie. Freaking city's already alive and I haven't even gone to bed. I'm definitely going to be annotating these books because I really like the story still. Like this is still all the plot twists and all the riddles, so I was still really entertained. Okay, so since I just finished a series with a lot of mystery in it, I'm thinking of doing my romance based book I picked out for the 24 hour readathon, and that is Last Night. And this is a um, two best friends romance story. It's like friends to lovers, but with a missed chance and a night that changes everything, where secrets are revealed because they're playing a game where they reminisce about the past. Very excited about this. I hope I like this one. See ya soon when I give you an update. What? Wait. Oh, I'm too tired. There's no way. 
I so much read that because if that's true, I'm gonna cry. Are you kidding me? I already hate this book. What a fucking bitch. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. That's the fucking night. I thought this was a best friends to lovers relationship romance, but it's not. At page 100, your heart is already broken. I thought and a night that changes everything was like when they kissed, it's something completely different. She was fucking difficult. I just fell fucking asleep. I wake up and I see the book isn't even on top of me. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? This is embarrassing. Is this actually easy for people? Like, I don't have an issue with all-nighters, but like to do that then the entire fucking day too? As I already said, I totally misinterpreted what this book was going to be about. Like, this is women's fiction, not a friend's lover's romance story with like an unrequited crush and a reveal of this like long 10-year-old crush. No absolutely not i was crisp like you know like the tiktok trend i can't even sing the song because i'm not gonna get copyrighted but that happened to me i was crisp on another level and i was so mad at myself because i was so ready for that and then we get so many traumatic events and so much betrayal and so much just everything is being dumped on me without me even asking for it i am so mad oh it's all it's almost 2 p.m i have three hours and 30 minutes left i'm pretty sure of this this was so hard to read i think not only because it was like not part of the series so overall the writing was very different and it took me a while to get into it but also because i had to reread sentences over and over again my eyes kept closing while reading i was falling asleep almost i was like no i don't know what to rate this book yet like star wise i completely misread the plot the blurb on the back is so vague lies are being revealed secrets are being revealed people said they said one thing and meant another thing so many things were happening we are now going to read the last book and we're not going to be able to finish obviously because it's okay so it's two o'clock so we have we have three and a half hours right because i'm really tired i think i should change which book i want to read now and read like an easy cliche romance i just also looked at myself in the mirror and i realized i actually look like a dead corpse Corpse are automatically dead, so I don't really know why I added the dead. But I think it was just to explain how really deadly I look right now. Like I'm doing this one. The title is Blackout, and this is a collection of short stories. When a heat wave plunges New York City into darkness, sparks fly for 13 teenagers caught up in the blackout. A first meeting, longtime friends, bitter access, and maybe a beginning of something new. This is the start of something new. Oh, satisfying. Yes, there she is, Ashley. I love your writing. I'm so excited to read your story. We're on page 63. And it's going pretty good. I really like it so far. We've now met two of the stories already. One story is about a couple who was together and then now they're walking home together. They have to kind of like hash out their past. And the other couple is a guy who is going to come out. I think so. He's going to come out at least. And he's a basketball player. And that's why he's like kind of scared of the sexuality. And he's kind of like exploring. Yay, I forgot to talk about each short story. So here's a little bit of a recap of what each short story is about. I was too tired to do anything. Anyways, I already explained the long walk is the second chance Roman story with Kareem and Tommy, and it was so good. And then we obviously have the mask off story that I was talking about with the sexuality aspect. Made to fit was a really cute story too, about a girl who likes some another girl and she just talks about her past experience with unrequited love. Then we have all the great love stories and dust, which I talk about a bit more in the review and later on, which it's just like a friends to lover story and then no sleep till brooklyn which is another romance story with the questioning inside of a relationship and then seymour and grace i hope i pronounced it correctly that is an abstract romance story with forced proximity and it was super cute i am officially done yes i read for 24 hours i still have 20 minutes but you know am i gonna start a new book now that i finished my fifth book in one day absolutely not here's my review of blackout blackout four to five stars my favorite book out of all of these is definitely long walk five out of five stars loved it so much it was also the longest out of all of them oh and my second favorite was all the great stories and dust oh my god and this played in the library it was so good overall this is a really good YA book if you like short stories and love stories this is definitely for you again i'm really happy i did this but now i'm fully exhausted i'm going to now go sleep because i don't have any energy left I hope I can fall asleep actually because it's really bright out still, but this was fun. 24 hours, my eyes are dry, everything hurts, I'm in pain, but was it worth it? Yes, it definitely was. Um, I hope you enjoyed this 24 hour reading vlog. And if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my content, you can subscribe. I hope you all have a great day, evening, nighttime,
Sunday morning, whatever time zone you're in. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Go read a book. And you know what? If you haven't read the Inheritance Games, read the Inheritance Games. And if you've already read these, you need to read Blackout. Have a great day. Happy reading. And see you next time. Bye.